Her gymnastics is so powerful and dynamic and exciting. She's soaking in every single thing that we say as coaches and she's so hungry to compete well. Just fits in. Like it's, you would never know she's from Rogers. You would never know that like she's a hometown girl. You would never, like you would have no idea. She's just like every single one of us. Well, my parents put me in gymnastics because I was crawling everywhere when I was little and so they're like, surely we need to put her in a safe environment to crawl around and because I was crawling out of my crib onto the, onto the changing table and so they decided that gymnastics was where I belonged. Uh, one of her coaches one time, I used to pick her up at night, you know, and after practice and one of the coaches came over and said, oh, I've, I've been doing this for 20 years and I just have never seen anybody pick it up so quick. And that was the first time for me I was like, Okay, maybe there's, maybe there's something here. I was training 25 hours a week, so I was, I was training every day for four and a half hours after practice. For, so I would get up, go to school, I would take a nap, I had to take a nap, <laughs> <laughs> and then I would go straight to practice and then I would come home around 8.30 and I would eat and go to bed and do it all over again and then I'd get up Saturday mornings and go to practice. I think since she was little, we, I think we always hope our kids would go here. And so now she's here, and it's definitely it's incredible. A blessing. It's incredible. It's hard to describe, to be honest. Actually, I think your mommy and your dad told me that you were a little afraid of the Razorback when you were younger, though. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I was pretty terrified. I just remember going to like sporting events, and he would come up, and I just look at him, I start crying, and I just creep away as <laughs> as I could, and I would not let him get near me. And I don't know why I was ever scared, even like Disney World. I just, like kids with Santa. yeah, yeah, I just couldn't do it. The Easter Bunny, oh, it was horrible, oh, okay. terrifying. But now you love the Razor Rack. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I was a huge fan of Jordan Weaver. Did you have a cutoff? Yes, so do you remember fat heads? Yeah. Like when those big stickers, uh -huh. I had a fat head of her in my room, like above my bed of her doing the splits at the Olympics. And I think I had it for like three or four years above my bed. And then I had like her, another picture of her on the side of my bed. And so she's kind of motivation. Yeah, it's kind of ironic that I never would have thought putting that sticker above my bed that she would be my head coach years later. When it, recruiting opened up, I called her and from the first phone call I offered her a scholarship and um, I, I don't, I think she called me back later that day and accepted. It wasn't, um, it was actually pretty simple, the whole recruiting process. That first phone call was nerve wracking. I, I picked up the phone and I was like, hello? I was like shaking a little bit. I didn't really know what to say and she's like, hey Lauren. I was like, hi. I just, I was just shocked I just didn't I had no words I was supposed to be talking to her and I just the phone call was probably five minutes and I just didn't know what to do. Uh, Lauren says to us hey I want to take this call on my own I'm gonna go to back porch back patio and take it we're like fine it's just gonna be a meet and greet go do it. 20 minutes later she comes walking in I'm gonna go to Arkansas I, hey, just, accepted I just accepted to go to Arkansas. Right. <laughs> we were like what? We're like what what do you mean? It what happened that time way. Out. I wasn't really sure that they were going to offer me on that first call and then she picked up the phone and she was like, we'd like to offer you a spot on the team and I, I just was, I didn't even know, I was just like, sure, I'd love to come to Arkansas, like I just never thought that that would even happen yeah. and then when it did I just couldn't believe it. It's just a no brainer yeah. for you. I, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You are the first Arkansas-born gymnast to make the team in a decade. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. It's kind of a big deal. I don't think I fully really understand like how big of a deal it is from being from Arkansas and now being a Razorback, but I love being able to wear the hog on my chest and being able to support and being with this team and going out there and representing Arkansas. And it's, I love that I have everyone around me to support me and to love and enjoy what I do and really like understand like where it came from and now I'm like living out that dream. The way she just enjoys being a Razorback and like embraces that is the same as Reese who's from California. Like they both have that same love, that same drive and like that want to like better this program and so she's super 
super special to us. I love her. She's my new little floor girly that I'm trying to pass all my history on to next. Oh my gosh, Lauren is like a little sister to me. Immediately, we connected right when I got here. She's the funniest girl ever. She's crazy, um, but she's also super talented and she has so much potential in NCAA gymnastics. And I know it means so much to her being a homegrown and um, having all her family and now a massive following in Arkansas um, watch her journey. And I'm just so excited for her. <laughs> Well, I just want to go out there and put on a show. I want everyone to have fun and watch, and I want everyone to see the hard work we put into our gymnastics and how fun and how possible, like, it is possible for those things to come true. And for those little girls at my gym and all around Arkansas to see how hard I trained my life and then the result of it, I want them to know that it is possible and them watching it and seeing it come true that makes it a little more real for them and allow them to believe in themselves too.